New localism can be a solution for problems of urban development uh, provided the political executive is willing to relinquish power. So, as we had discussed in the previous question, old localism had only resulted in politicization of development process. Old localism had only resulted in politicization of development process. It had resulted in the corruption, nepotism and favoritism. It had resulted in corruption, nepotism and favoritism. It had resulted in uh, unholy nexus between uh, unholy nexus between political executive and bureaucracy at the local level. Political executive and bureaucracy at the local level. Unholy nexus between political executive and bureaucracy at the local level. It has not resulted in participation of citizens. That is the reason why uh, uh, we had come out with uh, a new approach to development at, uh, at the local level in urban areas in the form of new localism. The example of new localism is JNN-URM, Jawaharlal Nehru National Urban Renewal Mission. JNN URM, wherein uh, it emphasizes on public private partnership. It emphasizes on public private partnership. It focused on uh, professionalization of administration at the local level. Professionalization of administration at the local level. In brackets, NPM, new public management. It emphasized on uh, ensuring uh, participation, transparency and accountability with the help of uh, ensuring uh, participation, transparency and accountability with the help of uh, non-governmental organizations, uh, civil society organizations and other institutions. Then uh, it was taken forward uh, with the help of uh, the schemes that were implemented in recent times in the form of smart cities in the form of smart cities in the form of Amrit in the form of smart cities and in the form of Amrit and in the form of this Swachh Bharat Swachh Bharat the objective of all these schemes is to end a monopoly of a, it is the objective is to end monopoly of political executive and bureaucracy over development process and monopoly of political executive and bureaucracy in development process and to ensure stakeholder participation and to ensure stakeholder participation and then you say, but the success of uh, these schemes depend on, but the success of these schemes depend on <coughs> willingness of a political executive to share power with the people. Willingness of political executive to share power with the people. The success of these schemes depend on willingness of political executive to share power with the people. Okay, when can this happen? When will political executive will be willing to share uh, power with uh, people? When will they do this? Only when it is electorally beneficial to them. Political executive will implement any reforms only when it benefits them electorally. So, for this what is required? We have to move to a political culture based on cognitions. We have to uh, move to a political culture based on cognitions. So that uh, political uh, executive will uh, share power with the citizens. They will share power with citizens. It requires multi-dimensional reforms at the local level. Multi-dimensional reforms at the local level. 
like uh, defining uh, the role of bureaucracy, the district collector. The first thing is uh, district collector should be renamed as uh, chief executive officer of the district. Chief Development Officer or Chief Executive Officer of the District and uh, regulatory functions should be taken away from him, regulatory functions should be taken away from him. Next, uh, next uh, at the local level recall can be introduced, recall. Recalling their representatives. I think it was uh, implemented in Madhya Pradesh, I think, uh, at the local level. Recall. So that uh, it makes uh, political executive more accountable. More accountable. Next, uh, at the local level, policy formulation and implementation should be clearly divided, line and staff function should be clearly divided. And implementation should be in the hands of uh, professionals, like in the United States of America, like in the United States of America, which successfully implemented uh, council manager form of government at the local level, like in United States of America which successfully implemented council manager form of government at the local level. Local council will be responsible for formulating the policies and the manager appointed from the private sector would be responsible for implementing them. That is what you write for this question. All of them are very important from your uh, general studies point of view also. Last year in your GS maximum number of questions in paper 1, 2, 3 are from urban development. So you have to have very good knowledge about urban development. This year also the same situation will be repeating. So once you know about public administration, that is why I always say if you are good with your public administration, really good, not good in the terms of uh, you know, theoretical aspects, practical aspects, you will be doing very well in your general studies also. You need practical uh, knowledge of uh, the aspects of administration because all your general studies papers, all the four papers of GS are about uh, practical aspects of administration. And you should know that is the reason why they have included this topic also in your uh, GS uh, comparison of constitutions. Why? Because they would like you to know how uh, and uh, what kind of uh, uh, systems are there in foreign countries which India can adopt to make our administration efficient, competent and accountable. You know, for local cell governments, you talk about council manager form of governments.